What is up guys, welcome back to the third video in my trip to the UK series. We came back a few days ago to surprise my mum and dad. Oh shit! Currently standing in my mum and dad's new garden, as you can see. Lots of nice flowers here. And in the background, mum loving life. Say hello. That is one happy woman. <laughs> it's the evening time and we are going to Milton Keynes, which is about 20 minutes away from where, where we live in Leighton Buzzard. Sounds dreadful. Um. So yeah, it's around six o'clock in the evening. We're going to Milton Keynes with my very good pal, Sean. Sean's actually been on the vlog before. He came out to Dubai, I guess, 18 months ago or something like that. I've known Sean since I was five years old, six years old. He was actually my nan's next door neighbor and we went to the same school. We've grown up together. Uh, since I've moved out to Dubai, we've actually become much better friends, which is quite unusual because I lost contact with so many people when I moved. He was the one that picked us up at six o'clock in the morning and helped with the surprise the other day. So this evening we are going out for dinner and we're gonna play some crazy golf with him and his girlfriend. Oh, and that is him there now. Hello mate! Hello mate! How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, you? Yeah, good, you? I'm very well. Good, you? You looking well? Yeah, you? <laughs> Come on, let's roll! It burns, like I'm actually bur burning! Show us your sunburn. That is a sunburned woman, English sunburn. Who well, comes to England and gets a tan, like? <laughs> you! <laughs> you get burned, not a tan. It's all yeah. the same. Hello! Hi! How are you? We've come to Milton Keynes, we are now with Sean and his girlfriend Ellie. Over here. We're coming to eat some Mexican food. We're in a place called Kingston and Milton Keynes and this is actually somewhere where I used to work. When I finished university, there's a Costco over there that I worked at for about four months. Nearly got fired from, but I quit before they could fire me. Very smart. See how proud of that I am. <laughs> so we're gonna eat some Mexican food, then we're gonna go and play some crazy golf. I'm looking forward to this because I'm absolutely starving. After you, please. After you, buddy. Thanks, bud. Look at that. Hello. Hello. Arriba, arriba! Is that what they say? <laughs> yeah. You look like you've got a basket of fruit on your head rather than... I just flip it and start... Why is it, why is it on me, the camera? Well, because you're wearing a fucking hat, because you're being funny. You're wearing a hat too. I'm wearing a hat too. <laughs> <laughs> sounding a bit stingy, just saying. Just saying, Listen, you know, like... I know, I know what she does though, she'll order everything because she's hungry. Yeah, I'm the same. And it'll come and then it won't get yeah. in. Yeah, I never knew 7up is considered as a lemonade. Shit off my face. Do you think again? I never knew 7up was considered lemonade yeah. in the UK. Because it's not. So basically, Sean ordered some lemonade, which does look like a pint of water. It's it's Seven Up, and I, and they they're convincing me, yeah, Seven Up is lemonade. I'm like Seven Up and Sprite is yeah, is lemonade. What? That is a lemonade. It is a lemonade. And, and you know what? We are considered third world country. It's just ridiculous. What? It's Lebanon. Yeah. Don't drag me into that. She keeps saying that Lebanon is is considered a third world country, but. You know, you still go to a five-star hotel there and eat lunch, don't you? So, but yeah. I'm just shocked, I swear. I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to yeah, have, have a sip in the comments. It's seven up. Right. What do you think it was? After this, I'm going to take you into Tesco and I'm going to show you all the bottles of lemonade and they're all that colour. Isn't a lemonade a lemon squeeze or a couple of lemons squeezed with water then a bit of... That's got lemon, lemon flavour in it. That's the lemon flavour, so it's not a lemonade. It's a little bit exhausting. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit exhausting. I wish the internet is working. I just want to know. I just don't, don't see how a 7-Up is called lemon. I just... How is it a lemon? She looks really shocked. Yeah. I am shocked. And she's getting a little bit wound up as well. No, now, so. no. Yeah, if ever you get to the point <laughs> and you actually do want to sell that camera, we'll buy it. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. 
All right, six thousand pounds. It's just helping a man to progress. He's got that. Help. Why are you so casual? Because I come here often. No one gets that. I don't know. The reason why she says that is because you're supposed to say, "Do you come here often?" So she's pretending she's already been asked that question. And that I feel pressured. I feel like everyone's watching. What, like all 200 subscribers? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. What is that tofu? I don't know. Chicken. It looks like chicken, doesn't it? It does look like chicken. Oh. What was it? Megan, I love vegan. Yours is just coming. Thanks. Megan. What have you got, Sean? That is a jambalaya. Very excited to eat it. They broke my shrimp. Squirt. <laughs> We've come to the theatre district in Milton Keynes and we've just had word from the studio that there may be a, sh a shisha bar somewhere in Milton Keynes. <laughs> the thing is, being here... Of you course go. you can! Yay! <laughs> you have to wave and do something then. There we go. <laughs> We have not been here. We have not been here. This is awesome. Yeah. No, we have I think it's going to be too dark to film. We just got upstairs in the crazy golf and it seems to be quite dark in there. And this camera, the Panasonic Lumix GH5, G85 I should say, is not very good in low light. So I've come to get my backup camera, which is much better in low light. I'm going to switch to that now. Changed the camera, now it's time to go and play some golf. So where do we start on number one? Do we, I guess we start there. Oh, close but not close enough. Good luck. There we go. Pressure, by the way. Oh, first time! Look at that. Can you come and do this one as well, please? <laughs> so we have just finished the first round, and the reason why I stopped recording was because I was realised that I was taking about nine shots on each hole and taking absolutely ages. And we started getting a queue of about eight people behind us. It was a little bit awkward. She reckons she's one with 39. I'll give over. Well, you can check the scores if you want, boys. We came last. Me and you came joint last, so. No, Manny came, Manny came last, 46. Yeah, I got 44. What? Oh, it's the, it's the least it's number. Me. Yes, I beat a Manny. I beat a Manny. Joint second, touch me. We are, that was way too wide. <laughs> Sean's thinking about life underneath a mushroom. How's it going? 
going so far, Nanny? I'm losing. You're losing like last time? Yeah, but so are you. It's really funny because on the first hole, everyone got it in two. I did it in seven. Second hole wasn't much better. Everyone did it in two or three. Seven. Same with the third <laughs> hole. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr. Toadstool, yes? <laughs> hey Manny, look, it's you in your in your passport photo. Yeah. <laughs> He's not joking. I genuinely look like a frog. <laughs> they call me the Eastern European Maradona, you know. <laughs> You know we don't like to touch that, eh? Four! Why are you getting so impatient? Because there's a... Sorry, that was just my insides. Because <laughs> there's a shisha place called White Mist. White mist. And closes at one. Again, that's my inside, sorry. 28, 32, 37, 40, 43. Hello, my friend. Give me the key, Shani. Can you please announce the winner? The winner is. I've got to write it up here. I'll give over. You didn't win. Yes, he did. The winner is. Oh. You can announce it. It's alright. The right. winner is Jack with 36. 36. Yes. So that was Lost World Golf in Milton Keynes in the Theatre District. It was really good fun. We enjoyed it. Now we're going to go and head over to a shisha bar. I think she's probably going to be quite disappointed because it's probably going to close around 10 o'clock and she's got her hopes up already. Let's see. I finally got around to editing these videos and I've just realised I never actually finished recording that day. It's because we were looking so hard to find a shisha place to keep a manny happy and everywhere was closed by the time we got there. She was so pissed off. That is a story for another day. Just wanted to let you know that we didn't find Shisha and that is the end of today's video.